Well, hello YouTube, it's Daniel with Website Candy, and today I'm going to show you how to add eyelashes to more eyelashes to your face. This is great for Instagram. If any ladies or anybody out there wants to add more eyelashes, just follow along with these easy steps and you can achieve this. And just keep in mind, I would also like for you guys to subscribe. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos and like this video. We're going to start off here by creating a new layer and we created our new layer, what we want to do here is we want to go to our brush. And me, I like to use hotkeys. I just hit the B to go to brush, but you can also find it right here. You go to your brush. And what you want to do is you want to set your brush to a two or a three. Um, for me and this subject, she already has she already has thick eyelashes, so I want to go to a three. And the hardness, you want to make it at 100%. Make sure you leave everything else normal, um, opacity 100%, and the flow 100%. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to select our pen tool and I hit the P key, but you can also just come right over here, go to the very top one right there and hit your pen tool. Now what you want to do is you want to zoom in, I'm going to hit command plus and come right over here to my subject and right over here you kind of see like a little bit of a bald spot and that's why I want to add the first eyelash and I'm just going to click down. And then when I click to the top of the eyelid here, I'm just going to keep holding and I'm just going to pull a little bit. And as you can see here, that we have the pen tool doing what it's supposed to do. Now what we want to do is we want to right click on it and we want to stroke the path. Right there, go to stroke the path. And we're going to stroke it with the brush that we just created a second ago. And we're going to hit OK. Now that we hit OK, you can hit Command Shift H or Control Shift H on a Mac or a PC. But if you go over here to View and you go to Show and you go to right down here to Target Path, it's the same thing. Uh, Command Shift H. Okay, so now only thing we want to do is we want to come over here. Is we want to change the blending option to soft light. Okay, and it looks a little bit more realistic, but it's a little bit too low for me. I'm gonna go over here to the vivid light, and I'm just gonna try out different types of uh, blending options over here inside this um, category between this line and this line. So I'll just go back to soft light right there. And you can see we got the opacity down to, I wanna say 86%. And the next one that we create, we could just go ahead and make it a little bit thicker like we did before. So we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna go back to our pen tool. We already have our brush set up and I wanna kinda of come right here in this area, click down and Pull once again. Actually, I want this one to kind of go this way. I'm right click and I'm going to say stroke the path. We already have our brush there. We hit OK. We go up here to uh, view. We come down here to show. We go down here to target path and get rid of the pen tool there. And I'm going to hit the V key to be safe to make sure that I'm not, um, which is my move tool. And that just moves the the thing around basically it, it doesn't really do anything so on layer two I want to bring the opacity down just a little bit I'm gonna bring this one down to about 58 percent 59 percent or so uh, it doesn't really matter whatever's best for you now what we can do is we can hit command J to duplicate that layer and when I duplicate that layer you can see I can just kind of grab that eyelash and I can just go into a free transform by hitting command T I got my little arrow there and I can make this one kind of go in this direction. I hit that right there and what we and I'm going to create one more just for the sake of I'm going to copy one more by hitting command J and Okay, there it is right there. Hit one more by hitting Command J, and we can take that one. We can free transform, Command T. I'm going to flip this one kind of all the way around, and we're going to just kind of go like that right there. I actually really don't like it that way, however. All right, I kind of like that a little bit better. Bring the up and then hit. 
enter to commit it. I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit more on this one right here. And now what we can do is we can hit Shift, hold them all there, and then we can hit the little grouping layer right there. Now when we turn the layer on and turn the layer off, we can see the difference. Now, it still looks kind of strange here, but if we kind of back out of it here, the eyelashes look more full. Nobody would ever notice that they've been retouched. And if I turn them on and turn them off, you can see what we've done there in regards to adding more eyelashes. So give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you. And thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe. Goodbye now.